Welcome to another episode of Metal and Beer. Alright guys, I'm actually trying a beer for the very first time on camera with you. And that is the Shipyard Brewing Smashed Pumpkin. We're still in the beginning of October, so this is that season of course where all these really cool fall beers come out. And of course a lot of those are pumpkin beers, pumpkin ales and pumpkin lagers, that sort of thing. So we're going to give this a try. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you this baby is 9% alcohol. <laughs> I might only have one of these or who knows maybe I'll have two. The Smashed Pumpkin, almost like Smashing Pumpkins, but that's not going to be the band we talk about later. I've uh, really got a cool hard rock kind of heavy metal band. We'll talk about that. That's coming up. Um, the Smashed Pumpkin here is an ale with natural flavors. Now the natural flavors are the tannin from the pumpkin. So that's actually, and I did verify that, that's actually a natural flavor in this beer here. So it's not artificial. Now there's two types of hops this beer is brewed with, Saphir and Hafadal. I hope I didn't pronounce that wrong, but <laughs> anyway, those are both German hops, which, you know, I kind of expect from a fall beer, you know, kind of the Oktoberfest thing going on here with the pumpkins and all. What these hops do, though, the Saphir really gives it that kick, that spicy flavor, which we're about to taste and the half a doll kind of balances out the sweetness of that because sometimes when you have pumpkin and spice you can get some really overpowering flavors so to me that's kind of smart to have that type of hops and this is like in really old old german hops the half a doll and that kind of balances everything out so that's kind of a cool thing to have i i really like when when brewing companies think about these things and kind of blend the hops together uh, to bring you these different aspects of, of beer tasting. So anyway, let's give this a taste. Again, this is my very first time tasting the Smashed Pumpkin. Not too much of an overpowering aroma. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> of course, I did my research on the beer first before I even tasted it. And everything I read about the beer, the, especially the types of hops, and that half an hour hops being used to kind of offset that overpowering of the pumpkin flavor and the spicy, uh, that makes a very nice balanced flavor here. So... I'm really liking this. I better drink this slow because, again, this is pretty strong stuff. This is good stuff, man. This is really good. Again, that's Shipyard Brewing Company, the Smash Pumpkin, and it is an ale. It's a pumpkin ale. So now, guys, it is time for the metal part of metal and beer. And actually, this part is kind of hard to talk about. I'm going to highlight an album. I'm going to talk about the album first, and then I'm going to tell you why this is kind of hard to talk about. Of course, when I mention the album, I think you guys are going to know right away uh, what's going on here in this part of the video, but I really feel like that I want to honor this person in this video right now because this event just happened. So the album is Van Halen's 5150 album. That was the first Van Halen album that I heard. That was my introduction to Van Halen. I know a lot of people say, well, that's Van Hagar, not Van Halen. Look, I'm not going to get into the David Lee Roth versus Sammy Hagar war. I like both of them equally. I think they're both phenomenal singers, and that's just a side note. That's not even what I'm here to talk about in this video. Uh, but the 5150 album, that just hit a certain spot with me because there's so many really cool melodies in that album. And... I'm going to talk about Eddie Van Halen specifically, his guitar playing in that album. He did so much melodic work in that album. So many hooks, so many catchy little phrases. And Eddie Van Halen is the type of guy that he can play, he can play amazing guitar. I mean, he can do a lot of different things on guitar. He can do all the tricks and cool stuff. A lot of people say he invented finger tapping. I will say he definitely like put finger tapping on the map of guitar playing because he was like the master at it. But he could do all this other technical stuff as well, but 
oftentimes he held back. And I think in a lot of the guitar solos in this specific album, 5150, he held back a little bit. And instead of like going all out and just trying to shred, he played what best fit the song. And he thought more about the song as a whole, which I have a lot of respect for that. I have a lot of respect for somebody who's got that power to just unleash. And he does at times, but they know when to hold back and just produce and make a really awesome song. Plus, he was just an amazing songwriter. And the sad news is I'm filming this video like the day after he passed away. You know, some old bandmates of mine, I got the text from them yesterday and I was, hey, dude. Eddie Van Halen passed away, man. I know he had been battling cancer for, I think, like 10 years or something like that. So that's why earlier I said this would kind of be difficult to talk about, man, because he he had such an impact not only on guitar players but musicians as well because Eddie Van Halen was more than just a guitar player. He was also, you know, an instrumentalist. He played keys. I think he played some other instruments. He was a phenomenal songwriter. And he also created his own line of guitars and amps. I mean, he worked with different companies to design guitars and amplifiers, which I think that's really cool. And on top of all that, you know, I think Van Halen, which Eddie had a huge part in this, really shaped and defined rock and roll and hard rock and even heavy metal music that was to come after that so yeah this was a really really sad loss in the metal community man it was just um i don't know it's kind of uh it's kind of like i feel like i'm old now and i'm not turning this around on me but it's like man all my all my childhood heroes are passing away you know i remember hearing the news when ronnie james dio passed away many years ago uh, and I think, um, you know, over the past couple of years, Tom Petty, I know that's not metal, but just, yeah, I could go on and on and naming artists that have passed away. And it's like, man, you know, I grew up listening to all this music and stuff, but Eddie Van Halen. So he just had a tremendous impact on me and my playing. And I think countless other musicians as well. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give props to Eddie Van Halen and, um, and just say, Hey, Eddie. If you can hear me from the skies, man, thank you for all the cool music you gave us. Uh, so, guys, that is it for today's metal and beer. Again, I am drinking Shipyard's Smashed Pumpkin. And, of course, we talked about the 5150 album from Van Halen. That's a cool combination, pumpkin beer and Van Halen. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And hey, leave any comments below. I always try to get to those as well. I'll see you on the next Metal and Beer.